Hey there friends, let's make another super cool circuit using Tinkercad. Let's create a brand new circuit and we are going to mess with something today called an RGB LED. Start by grabbing the breadboard and bringing it out. And also grab an Arduino Uno. Click on that little fella and rotate them until you've got the 9, 10, and 11 close to the breadboard. That makes the rest of our project work out pretty slick. And then let's use components to find that RGB LED. When you click down here on the bottom, you can scroll through. And there it is, the magical RGB LED. Put them up on row J, anywhere you pick, anywhere you want. And then he has got a cathode, which is gonna connect to the negative or to the ground. Let's do that first. So I'm going to just connect it to this ground. Uh, I like that to be a black wire, so I'm going to switch the color to black. And then let's put in our resistors, because we need to still protect this LED just like we do any other. So click on your components and find the resistors. And let's drop in one resistor that crosses the breadboard from F to E. I don't want a full 1,000 ohms. I want to use 220 ohms, so I'm going to switch to the ohm symbol and I'm type 220 after two attempts. And then what's cool is I can do control C to copy that one and I can paste it. So there's control C and control V to paste it on the other two legs of the RGB LED. At this point, we need some magic code to make this little critter work. The code that comes with ours does not handle RGB LEDs. So what we need to do is do a quick search on Google for RGB code Arduino. One of the coolest places to get our uh, help is from Learn Adafruit. And when you visit Learn Adafruit, using that link, it takes you right to the sketch we need. So just select all the way to line 45, right click and click, click copy. Later you can explore these cool things. Adafruit does a wonderful job guiding you as you learn to our circuit and click on line one and then right click paste. When this code is in, you can see that we have three pins, nine, 10, and 11 that are being used. 11 goes to the red pin. So when I hover over this, you can see it is the red pin. So I'm gonna connect the red to 11. I'm gonna change that to red, and I'm gonna scroll in so we can see better as we do this. Uh, this is pin blue. So I'm gonna click from here to pin eight, because remember back on our code, and I'll let you see it again, I just happen to remember. Oops, it's pin nine. So I'm gonna just grab that and move it to number nine. And I want it to be blue. And then the last one is green, and it'll go from here to here. And it already was green, so it's all set. Believe it or not, that code is that magical that you are already set, and you can build it and hit start simulation. I'm not going to do it for you. I'm going to let you do that on your own. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you're making a purchase eventually, Adafruit is a wonderful place to find the parts that you want and have fun experimenting with all the cool extra things they added at the end of this bit of training. Thanks for following.